Well, y'all, it's over. It's canceled. Um, it's done for. Our season is O V E R. I almost forgot how to spell it. Um, it's done. Front office said just just kill it. Just kill the season. Well, we all killed it. It was a lot of different moving parts that contributed to the death of our season. And I'm gonna go over it in this video, but um, yeah. LeBron playing limited minutes, not even playing back to backs. Wow. Um, we got Lonzo Ball not coming back from his injury. We got Brandon Ingram injured, which is actually a serious injury, and we hope he recovers well just for his sake, not even the team, just for him. And yeah, it's a tragic situation. So let's go ahead and dive into it and talk about why this happened what all happened who deserves the blame because you know i love playing the blame game i i should have had like a cool sound i don't have a sound just play the intro all right so first of all this season um i believe i saw something on twitter talking about we have the same record this year as we did last year this time. Oh, that hurt. That hurt to read because it's like we could have sworn, me included, of course. And I'm gonna go back and rewatch some of my old videos, guys, simply because you guys keep going back to my old videos and commenting on them. And I see the notifications, I'm like, dang. So I haven't watched them yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and react to like my reaction when LeBron came, me not wanting LeBron. I'm gonna react to those videos. And that's gonna be pretty interesting. But this season has been very underwhelming for a number of reasons. And we can start off with the roster, um, the roster issues. You know, we had the issues with LeBron. The effort level wasn't there, but he did play his part, you know, in the stat sheet. Um, defensively, he may not have he may not have shown up, but in the stat sheet, he did play his part. Um, we had the young core. They were doing pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the blame always goals on the young guys, but even LeBron himself said it's not fair that we put so much responsibility on these young guys, first and second year people, and we're heavily relying on them when we have a bench full of seasoned veterans. Just chilling. So that was a tragedy. Then you have Luke Walton and the front office. And that is a very tricky situation because now we have wind. We have wind that Magic Johnson is more to blame than Luke. Wow. Um, and honestly, I haven't been a fan of Magic recently. Since the Zubac trade, I said, wow, he is very off, very off, very tragic, because there's no real reason that should have taken place. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. One, two, three doesn't add up. And so that's why I was literally like, okay, I'm off Magic a little bit, you know? And we were shoving so much blame on Luke Walton, but reports are saying now that Luke Walton and the rest of the coaching staff really urged Magic to keep Randall and Lopez. And guess what? Both of them are gone. And both of them are doing better. I can't help to notice D'Angelo Russell gone and doing better. So now I have to step back as somebody who's logical. Put the Laker fan to the side. Logically, I have to say, what is wrong with us? To the fact that not only we're letting all these good people go, but they're flourishing after they leave us. What is happening? with our culture, with our front office. So really it's more of magic and Jeannie's fault. Oh yeah, I haven't forgotten about Jeannie. And you Rob, Polinka, you, um, you were Kobe's agent. I love you, however, you're on thin ice with me. And I have to give an apology to Luke Walton because a lot of the fans have put a lot of blame on you when really we should have been sharing that blame with magic. Now, Luke, what I don't want to have you thinking is that you're completely forgiven and you're absolved of all of your shortcomings because that's not the case oh yes we've seen what you do with the rosters we've seen what you do with the lineups okay I see people on Twitter talking about why are we trying to fire Luke they're really trying to take up for Luke I feel them but at the same time you know you're dealing with the roster with issues and drama sure but we're seeing the rotations there's simple things you don't do like how you handle Lonzo Ball in the first half of the season once you finally started giving him minutes he started doing well boom he got injured very tragic. However, when you started giving him minutes and playing him properly, not taking him out in the first fourth quarter for no reason, he started showing us what he could really do. You would yank Brandon Ingram out at random times while he's hot to put KCP in. You know, so that's very telling. That's why I can't completely forgive you and can't completely save you. I was trying, Luke. 
but the blame is on both of you guys. Yes, the front office and Luke. Now, something that we've also been overlooking, and I'm sorry, but every fan of every other NBA team and some Laker fans have been overlooking this point, which is very prevalent to what's going on, okay? Injuries. I'm gonna run down a bunch of injuries, okay? Lonzo had an off-season injury first, didn't have a season to even practice, not even practice. Zubak had an off-season illness as well, started the season sick. Ingram had an ankle injury, Rondo had two hand injuries, JaVale had an illness, LeBron had a groin injury, Kuzma had a hip injury, Lonzo had an ankle injury, which is still, of course, the reason he's out. Ingram had a shoulder injury, Kuzma had another ankle injury, Lance had an ankle injury, and now Ingram has yet another serious injury. Tyson Chandler had some injuries too, and of course, Josh Hart. I don't think I mentioned Josh Hart. And Mo Wagner, if that counts, he was injured at the beginning of the season and he wasn't even able to start the season for us. So that's literally almost every single player on our roster besides KCP, which is unbelievable. But everybody on our roster was hurt. And I saw another tweet that really intrigued me because it's very true. This dude said, nobody cares about Laker injuries ever. Just like the Dwight and Nash year. Yikes. The team was beat up, but nobody cares. Then he's talking about this season and he's saying, we lost Brandon Ingram early, then LeBron, then Lonzo, then Kuz, even Rondo. The full roster only played together 20 games at best. And I think that's generous. I don't think we played all 20 games together, like the whole roster. I don't think so. Everybody was injured. There was somebody injured at every point. It was like a relay. Have you seen those like Olympic relay, like four by 100s or whatever? You know, we'll start running and as soon as this person gets better, they hand off the injury. They're like, all right, bitch. And they go. It's like we never are healthy. And the league kind of dismisses it, not like the NBA itself, but the league's fans. They're like, yep, no, nah, but y'all just suck. Y'all just suck. It's like. Everybody's been injured. Everybody's been injured. Like when we were playing together, we were what, third, fourth seed? Do you remember that? I remember it. And it was very quiet. Because I remember dropping videos. Very, very. A hush was across the, the crowd because you didn't want to acknowledge it. And that's fine because I understand, you know what I mean? Same with the Clippers. I did the same thing with the Clippers. You know, I didn't want to acknowledge it. So I understand from a non-Laker fan point of view. However, I think you just need to acknowledge, just like I did in my last video, giving the Clippers so much props and their fans were still mad at me. I don't, I don't know what I did. I, I was just giving them props for, you know, being in the, the seventh seed. I'm giving them props. but. We're gonna move on from that debacle. Um, you still need to acknowledge the fact that yes, we were plagued by injuries and yes, that did affect a lot of what happened. So a lot of the blame I'm trying to place on Luke, I'm trying to place on Magic and stuff, but I can't place as much as I want to simply because we have gone through a lot of injuries and it's very hard to successfully reach your potential when everybody's injured. Every point there's somebody, so you settle into a roster, yeah, you gotta change it. That puts a lot of pressure on Luke. Even with that Luke, we still saw the shenanigans you were pulling. Don't think you're off the hook. However, I'm saying these are things to keep in mind. So when I see these comments about the Lakers, y'all trash, it's like, dude, you guys proclaim, I didn't want LeBron to come at first. You can look at those videos. All of them are, I mean, about three, four, five, six, seven of them. I didn't want them. But you guys said the GOAT is coming and we would appreciate the GOAT and y'all were telling me this, right? He was out for what, 17 games? Something crazy like that? What do you expect? He's out, other people out. It's like, you expect us to be third seed still? Like honestly, and I'm, I'm talking to myself too. Do I really, do you really expect them to continue to play at that caliber with barely anybody healthy? We're playing with our bench every game and they have no energy. And another thing that really, really ruined us that isn't being talked about anymore, but it really was probably our biggest roadblock. I think injuries are right here. This debacle is right here. And that is the Anthony Davis trade. That for sure slowed us down. Um, the way that Magic went about it, it was clear that he was trying to show Anthony Davis like, look, we're all in for you. We really want you here. We're willing to give up everybody for you. And it was just a statement, even though they saw that the Pelicans weren't really giving in. They still wanted to make that statement to Anthony Davis so he'd remember during off season, like, hey, they were willing to give everything for me. I think that's what their angle was. And that damaged the team morale a lot because it's like, dang, we are that expendable. You know what I mean? We have an amazing young core. Contrary to popular belief, we really do. And we just need a couple more pieces and whatnot, but we were willing to trade all of those people for them. And so I think that really ruined the morale, the chemistry, which 
they are professional basketball players so that really shouldn't be a thing like we really shouldn't be playing in a rut after that but they are young guys so it is going to get in their head regardless so that's what i'm trying to say and what i'm trying to tell you guys is that our season has been very tragic but a large portion of that has to do with injuries a large portion most of it really so for the other fans that are rejoicing that like players are getting hurt that's a little weird i've literally never done that on this channel ever any player gets hurt i've never been one to rejoice because that's serious and that's time that's time they've lost playing the game that they love and whatnot and they might not recover so i never really get excited when people get injured i know that people a lot of people hate the lakers though so they get excited when like laker players get injured um i want to ask is everyone everything okay at home ted bundy that's very weird of you very off but it's okay um season's over they gave up even before it was over. I don't know how I feel about that simply because, once again, I am a Kobe fan. And so remember last time Kobe dragged that roster and hurt himself to get us to the playoffs. You know what I mean? So I just cannot relate to this giving up. But it is what it is. It's probably the best for this season because we're not going to do anything anyways. Everybody's out. It is what it is. Very tragic situation, y'all. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think was the biggest factor that led to the downfall of this season? season's team okay let me know in the comments below also that video that i was talking about if you follow my social medias is postponed because college so keep sending me the questions and you know what i'm talking about if you follow my social medias if you don't who's outside my door if you don't very tragic i only have 26 seconds left to record on this memory card so check out some videos right here Subscribe to the Splash Squad right here. Check out my uh, hoodies. Look at them. Come on now. How come I'm getting more people that don't subscribe getting these than people that subscribe on Teespring? Copy one. All right, I got to go. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.